this video I'm going to work through an individual integral. It's going to be a straightforward U substitution integral and that means that it would be one that would be found pretty early on in a Calc 1 class. So we're going to take a look at the integral of a negative 2x square root of 4 minus x squared dx. All right, if I'm wanting um, to attempt a use substitution on this type of integral, I'm going to look for that inside portion of the function right there, and I'm going to let my u be that 4 minus x squared. So we will start with let u equal 4 minus x squared. I'm going to take the derivative of both sides, so du is equal to a negative 2x dx, and then I'm going to divide both sides by that negative 2x so that I can actually solve for dx. So I'll have a du over a negative 2x is equal to dx. Okay, then I'm going to come back up here to my original integral and I'm going to start substituting things that I can. So I'll have the integral of the negative 2x stays. I let u be 4 minus x squared. All right, so I will have times the square root of u. I can replace dx with what it equals and I can have a du over a negative 2x. All right, at this point, it's going to let me cross out those negative 2x's really nice. All right, and then when I rewrite this integral, I'm going to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to rewrite this into exponential form and get rid of that radical. So I'll have the integral of u to the 1 half du. Everything is in terms of u now, and I can easily integrate the u to the 1 half. When I add one there, I'll have a u to the 3 halves and the reciprocal there in front of 2 thirds. And then plus c because I'm done with my integration. I can now replace u with what it equals. So I'll have a 2 thirds and I'll have a 4 minus x squared raised to that 3 halves power. All right, and then most of the time um, you're going to want to probably turn that back into a radical since the original uh, integral was in a radical form. So I would probably write it as 2 thirds square root of 4 minus x squared all raised to the third power. So a pretty straightforward u substitution and like I said this would be um, you would run across this very early on in your um, Calc 1 class right after you've done your integration and you've done your u substitutions. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share with your friends so they can benefit too. Thanks.